Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click, and thanks for joining me in the next video in the Do More with Click Tips and Tricks Edition series. This time, I'm creating a multi-part video that is going to introduce you to Click AutoML and cover some of the latest improvements we have made over the past number of releases. To recap, Click AutoML is our code-free, automated machine learning tool that allows you to generate predictions for key business metrics with just a few clicks. Now, in addition to predictions, Click AutoML also provides full explainability so you understand the why behind these predictions. After predictive models are created, they can be published into ClickSense and associated with your current data for real-time exploration and what-if scenario planning, enabling you to take action on your findings. Now, that is a lot to say in a video opening, so let me first jump in with little explanation and just show you how it's done. Now keep in mind, there are some things you should know before working with Click AutoML, and I have them covered in a few other videos linked in the description. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm in my Click Cloud environment, and the first thing I wanna make note of is that the user who is logged into Click Cloud must have the appropriate role to create a ML experiment and deployment. So here within the administration console, you can see under users, under my name, if I go to edit roles, you can see I have auto ML deployment and auto ML experiment checked. So in addition to that, you need to make sure you have the appropriate cloud subscription licensing so you have that feature enabled. So please keep that in mind. Okay, so underneath my analytics home, I'm actually gonna get started within the create screen. And you'll notice that I have a tile here called ML experiment. So we're gonna click plus, and now I have access to a space that I called AutoML to keep everything nice and organized. And I'm gonna give this a name. And we're gonna call this Do More Late Deliveries and click Create. Now, when creating an experiment, you are prompted to select data from the catalog. This is usually in the form of CSV, QVD, or Parquet files if they have been previously registered. Now, this data set is known as the training data set and contains your prepared historical data that contains a field or feature that you want to predict. In this case, if I show you my training data set, which is nothing more than a CSV file, you can see I have my past order information. And if you look at the column at the end, you will see it is named shipped late and it can have a value of yes or no. So for this experiment, we are using AutoML to solve a binary classification problem where there is a possibility of predicting two outcomes, as in, is the order predicted to be late? Yes or no. So what I'll do is navigate to my space and you can see I don't have any data available here. So I'm going to add data locally from my machine. And here I'm going to browse and select the training data set and click upload. Now click AutoML will identify and sample and provide you with some additional information and insights about this data. I'm not going to go into any other detail here other than selecting my target and letting click AutoML do the rest. So by selecting a target, in other words, the field or feature that we want to predict, I want to look at ship late, which you can see is categorical. We have yes and no values. So I'm going to click ship late and it automatically selects the features and the algorithms and model optimization. We're not going to touch anything else. Then we click run experiment. Now this is going to take a few moments. It really depends on the size of your data. But when it's completed, it's basically training all of the different models using a number of different algorithms, and it's going to score it and show you which is the best one. Okay, so the models have been trained and you can see that we have a score. Now I'm gonna leave this information out of this video and I will cover it in one of the next subsequent videos, basically to talk about the permutation importance, the rock curve, shaft importance, etc. But basically we have ranked 
the top model, which is light GBM classification, and you can see the F1 score is 0.936. Basically, you want the model to have an F1 score close to 1. And you can see that within the rock curve. Again, I'll explain that in a future video. Now, you can run multiple experiments. So if I wanted to go back and change parameters, I could run this training again and set up another version of those trainings. However, we're going to leave that alone. You have filters here if you want to just look at the different algorithms. But in this case, we're letting Click AutoML do everything for us. And we're going to make sure we use this model. So this model is now the selected model. I mean, you could choose another one and look at the insights for each one, but this is our selected model. Now you'll see there's a compare and analyze tab here. This is more internal for understanding the performance of the model and detail about that. I will cover that in the next subsequent videos. So right now we're just going to click deploy. So when you deploy, you basically are creating the prediction data set from this model. So we're just going to give it a name. In this case, we'll call this one late deliveries. And I'll just call it deploy for simple naming. And you can see it provides a description information. This is version one. It's using the binary classification, light GBM classification on this trading data set. So we click deploy. And that's going to bring up the deployment screen by clicking open, or you can go into the space and click the deployment. When you deploy the experiment to create the predictive model, you might have another step within the workflow, and that is to approve the model so it can be used within a deployment to make predictions. Okay, we're just going to click OK for now on this. So now we have our model schema and our deployment details. So what we want to do here is now click Create Prediction. Now, when you create the prediction, you need to now apply what's called the apply data set. And just think of the apply data set as your current data where the schema must match the training data set. As you can see here, in other words, it must have the same feature names that we selected, product demand, weather severity, transport partner, make to order, etc. It could have other fields or features in it, but it must have these particular training data set features. And that data set is going to be your current data. In other words, the orders that have not been used within the training data set. So we're going to use the current data to create the predictions of yes or no on which orders are going to be late. So here we select the apply data set. Same concept. I'm going to add the apply data set. And I just happen to have it locally on my workstation named apply data. And then click configure prediction. Now we have that data schema and we're going to name the prediction. This is going to be the name of the prediction data set that we are going to associate with our current data. Okay. So just to reiterate, the apply data set has your current orders. It's going to work with the training data set to create a prediction data set. And then that prediction data set is going to be used with our current data to create the actual predictive app. And you can see here the name of it is going to be ODT Apply Data 441.csv. That's the name that we're giving it. And you can choose QVD or Parquet. In this case, we'll just keep it as CSV. So I click Confirm. Now, there are additional options. You can include what's called SHAP data. Okay. And this is basically what we mentioned as the explainability. So you can see the influence, what's driving these predictions. We're not going to cover this now. We will do this in another video. For this example here, I will select them so they are created, but I'm not going to reference them in the app creation. You can see it gives it the extension CSV and CSV here, ODT apply data set. It's just basically naming it the same as the apply data set. You can change these names. And then the index column, you need the key that is going to be used when you link these files together when you create your predictive app. And you'll see that momentarily. You can also create a schedule for this to run. We're not going to deal with that right now. We're just going to save and close. And you can see it's pending. And what's being included with the predictions as well as the SHAP and the coordinate SHAP. Basically, it's creating these new CSV files, the prediction data set, as well as the explainability data sets. And it's putting it in the AutoML do more space. Now, if we go up here, you can see model requested. Approval has been requested for the model in this deployment. 
The subscription allows nine more models. So this is gonna be based off of your subscription for Click Cloud. So here, predictions will be activated for all deployments of this model. So here we're gonna run predictions now. And you can see last status is success. Now predictions created open. So basically when you click open, it's just gonna bring you to your hub where you have the files that were created. Okay, so to make things a little bit easier, I'm just going to choose data, ML deployments and ML experiments and just explain what you see here on these tiles. Okay, so the ODT applied data prediction SHAP, that's explainability data. We're not gonna to touch this right now. This is the coordinate SHAP. We're not gonna to touch that one either. This is the predictions data. This is the one we're going to use. This is the apply data. This is our current data that we want to create the predictions on. And then this is the deployment we created. This is the experiment we created earlier. And then this is just the training data set that we used. So now that you have all these data files, you now create a ClickSense app. And we're gonna do that in the next video.